Hey YouTubers, it's me again. So since it's National Pie Day, we're going to watch a apple pie recipe. So I'm going to put you on a video right now. Okay, so here's their video. Enjoy it. Hey everyone, it's Natasha of natashaskitchen.com and today I'm going to teach you how to make what is probably the most iconic pie of all time. It is a homemade apple pie. This one is loaded with apples. Now the process is a little different and it'll surprise you, but you're gonna love the results. So let's get started. We'll start with the sauce for the filling. Place a medium saucepan over medium heat and melt in eight tablespoons of unsalted butter. Stir in three tablespoons of flour and let that simmer for about a minute, whisking constantly. Next, whisk in one fourth cup of water and one cup of sugar. Bring that to a boil, then reduce the heat and continue simmering for about three minutes, stirring occasionally. This sauce is the secret ingredient. It literally takes less than five minutes, but will transform your pie. When it's done, it'll have a light caramel sauce consistency. Take it off the heat and let it cool while you prep your apples. You'll need six to seven Granny Smith apples, or you can use your favorite tart crisp apple. All of the apples together weigh two and a quarter pounds. Peel all of your apples, then cut them in half and remove the cores. To remove the cores, you can either use a small paring knife or an apple coring tool, or you can use a melon baller like this one, and I'll leave a link to this in the notes. Once the apples are all peeled and cored, thinly slice them. You should get about seven cups of thinly sliced apples. Transfer the apples to a large mixing bowl and sprinkle the top with one and a half teaspoons of ground cinnamon. Stir to evenly coat the apples with cinnamon. Next, add all of that sauce that you made earlier and make sure you get every last drop. Stir in the sauce to coat the apples, and I'm telling you, it's so worth it to spend the extra five minutes to make this sauce for the most incredible apple pie filling. I'm using our favorite homemade, easy, all-butter pie crust that I've been chilling in the refrigerator. This pie crust is incredible, and I will leave a link to the video tutorial in the notes. Sprinkle your work surface generously with flour and roll out your first pie crust. Roll that first crust to about a 12 inch diameter circle. If you find the dough is sticking to your rolling pin, sprinkle on just a little more flour. The easiest way to transfer this into the pie pan is to wrap it around your rolling pin gently and use a food scraper to loosen the dough in case it gets stuck to the surface. Now simply unwrap it into a clean pie plate. Mold that gently into the plate and you should have a little bit of dough hanging over the edges. Add all of the apple mixture, mounding it slightly in the center. And be careful not to get the filling on the edges of the dough, which will make it difficult to seal. Set that aside, then roll the second crust on a floured surface, but this time just to about an 11 inch round circle. <laughs> I found that if you push the edges in like this, it'll roll into a much more even circle, which is important because we're going to be making strips out of this for the lattice topping. Also, if you're curious, this is called a French rolling pin, wee oui, wee, oui, and it is my favorite. I will leave a link to this in the notes. Using your favorite pizza cutter, cut 10 even thickness strips. Making a lattice topping is easier than you think. Take one of the long strips from the center and place it across the middle of your pie. The first five strips should be in one direction across your pie with the longer strips in the center and the shorter ones towards the edges. Peel back the second and fourth strips and place one large strip down the center. Now peel back the alternating strips and add another strip of dough. Continue doing this on the right and then the left until all of your lattice is complete. Place any remaining scraps of dough around the edges of the pan where needed. Tuck the excess pie dough into the pan around the edges. 
Once all of the edges are tucked in, you can crimp or flute the edges of the pie dough. And this process is so easy, but will make your pie look super fancy. Push the dough in with one finger on one hand and pinch around it with two fingers on the other hand. Pat the edges down slightly so that they don't brown too much in the oven. Next, beat together one egg and a tablespoon of sugar and brush that egg wash generously over all of the surface of the dough. This will add beautiful color to your pie while it's baking. Transfer that to the center of a preheated oven and bake at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. Without opening the door, reduce the heat to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and continue baking at another 45 minutes or until the apples are soft and the filling is bubbling through the vents at the top. Oh, pie. <laughs> Sweet apple pie. You will not believe how good my kitchen smells right now. And once this comes out of the oven, you want to give it at least an hour to rest. You want those apple juices to thicken up so that way when you cut into it, it doesn't slide all over the place. And you won't burn your mouth. That's important. Been there, done that. <laughs> okay, so we're going to let this rest. Our pie has been resting. It's just barely warm. And honestly, that's the hardest part is the waiting because you just want to jump right in and do the taste test. But that's exactly what we're going to do right now because we have been patient alone enough. Okay, so big slice for me. Here we go. Okay. Oh, that is a big piece. <laughs> but that doesn't surprise you, right? <laughs> you watched enough of our videos. <laughs> okay, here we go. Yum. And you can see the slice holds together. It's not sliding apart. This filling is amazing. Okay, let's get that onto our plate. <laughs> I'm really excited. This is the pie that everyone needs to make this autumn. It is fantastic. Okay, but I'm gonna taste it first. That is worth every second. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, just that little bit of cinnamon really amps up the apple flavor. And I love the sweet tart apples. They're perfectly sweetened. This is wonderful. And to be very honest, I love the crust just as much as I love the filling. I mean, it's flaky, buttery, really easy to make and make sure that you watch our video on how to make this crust. Super simple, just a few ingredients, but wow. It is just like pastry perfection. <laughs> All right, we have some very important taste testers, and these guys are the real deal. They know a good apple pie when they eat one. Come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on. And they're cute, too. <laughs> okay, here. Dig into the pie, babies. <laughs> You need some help? Yeah. We got this. Oh. You should give yourself enough time to breathe there, pal. <laughs> uh, what do you think? Is that a thumbs up? You love it? <laughs> if you guys are just as excited about fall baking as I am, check out one of our all-time favorite recipes right over there. Such a treat. And don't miss our pie crust recipe, the same crust we use here right over there. It's sure to become a new favorite. Okay, guys. That is it for the apple pie recipe. So hopefully you guys enjoy this um, apple pie recipe video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and click that bell so you guys don't miss any of my YouTube videos. I see you in my next YouTube video. Peace out.